Hey there, Linda here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can style your new wig you just received this week from AliExpress. So, whatever website you tend to order your wigs from, and they didn't cut your list for you, they just sent you the wig looking scruffy. I'm going to show you how to style your wigs, how to install an elastic band on your wig without needing to use glue if you're the type that doesn't like to use glue this video is for you if you don't know how to bleach the knots on your closure this video is for you so guys let's get right into this video first off you need a scissors if you have a weak stand it would also be helpful if you're trying to cut your lace like this with your hands like holding the wig up it's not going to be very easy for you so it's always best you have a mannequin head at home if i thought you have one any one you have just try and work with it so you place your wig on the mannequin head and you start to use your scissors to cut it when you start using the scissors you will notice that it's not very easy for you to use a scissors to cut the lace on your mannequin head i've actually noticed that it's, it's easier to use a razor blade i don't know if you know what a razor blade is but if you don't have a razor blade you can use that too that's um, eyebrow shaper the one they use for shaping out the eyebrow if you don't have a razor blade but i think at this point here i'm going to just switch to using a razor blade but you can see how i'm cutting the lace i'm following the pattern the i'm following the pattern in which the hair was um was ventilated on the frontal and I'm making sure I'm not cutting in a straight pattern. I'm just um, cutting in sort of zigzag, jagged pattern. So it doesn't look straight and look too big and unrealistic. So you can see I'm just cutting around all of the lace fronts. So I'm going to cut off all the lace all around the front and also the lace at the back and sides of this wig using the same razor blade if you don't have a razor blade you can try working with the with the scissors but i've noticed using a blade to cut the lace is so much more easier it's very easy to cut your lace with the razor blade so i just cut all around the wig cap after i'm done cutting the list you're gonna see it's going to be a very long list after i'm done cutting the list i'll proceed to the next step of applying some foundation to the lace that's on the inside of the lace you want to put some foundation in there or first you might want to even install your wig band first let's install the wig band first so i have this needle and thread i already fixed it up so this elastic band here i want to measure it from the back of my head the the band is supposed to be behind your ears so you can see how i sort of stretched it to see to just kind of um eyeball how it's going to be on the wig i don't want it to be tight on my head i don't like to wear wigs and have it giving me a headache so i like to make the band to be comfortable on my head while the wig sits flat it's still comfortable on my head so that's why i just place the band on the area where it's going to be behind my ears that's on that side right there and i'm sewing the elastic band right there you can see how i'm just putting a little through the lace and the elastic band and i'm just um tying sort of sewing it sewing it sewing through it and tying while i move and if you're wondering what measurement is ideal it depends on the size of your head but i think i would recommend using a, an elastic band of at least eight inch length eight inch or less than eight inch is the ideal length you should use so i'm just i just extended the elastic band to the other side of the wig and i'm also securing it down on that side so the next step which i'm going to do when i'm done with um sewing down the elastic band is definitely applying some foundation to the list i already mentioned that earlier but for right now let me finish sewing down that elastic band before i proceed to the next step and take note the foundation you want to use should be a foundation that matches your skin well if it if the wig you are trying to make look natural is not for you so you want to know what your client's skin complexion is like so you want to just make the inside of that list look more skin like so it doesn't look too wiggy when you put the wig on your head it looks like oh the hairs are growing out of your scalp that's the essence of putting that foundation there if you don't have the chemicals they use in bleaching the lace front that's bleaching the knots just use your foundation it's still going to look nice even if it might not look as bomb as bleach knots would look but this would this gets close close to it 
so just put the foundation all around the lace put the foundation all around the lace the lace in front if you have lace at the back also do the same but if it, the lace is just in the front just leave it put just the foundation on the lace in front so now i'm done with that part of the wig so right now i just want to wet the hair because you know this is a kinky hair i can't comb this hair or brush this hair without getting it wet if you are working with hair that is coily you want to make sure that you get your hair wet because how you style a coily hair is by getting water on it first because if you start to comb this hair without putting water on it it's because you're going to lose the curls it's going to it wouldn't look very nice so the best way to work with coily hair is put water on it if you have a spray bottle put water in your spray bottle and spray water all over the hair then you start to use your fingers to sort of detangle the hair but for the front of this hair, i'm using that um small comb to just comb the hair on the lace fronts and just trying to make sure that it looks really nice yeah i'm trying to make sure it looks really nice but after i'm done um with the combing and making sure the front of the lace wig looks as nice as it should look i'll go over to using my hands to walk through the wig i'm just trying to make sure i stretch out each of the curls each of the hair on this wig make it look nice so it doesn't look scrunchy or look <laughs> like the wig is cheap and all so it's really important that you use your hands and walk through the wig really well so it looks as nice as it should look and please if you're getting value out of this video make sure you smash the like button and share with your friends who are also going to get value out of it and if you're not subscribed to my channel also subscribe right now i would really appreciate your support so keep using your fingers to walk through the hair you can see now by using your hands it sort of stretches the length of the wig a bit and it looks so much better so much better unlike when the wig is shorter you can see how it looks now it looks it's beginning to come really look really put together but while i'm doing this i'm losing some of the hair and it's sort of normal for coily hairs because most times when you work with coily hair you might experience shedding with coily hair because that's just how coily hairs are so next i'm trying to clean out the part and make the part a bit deeper than how it came because the lace front you can actually get away with having a deeper part and if you want to make the parts more defined you can choose to just um twist some hairs along the pattern you can twist some hairs there so that the pattern looks more defined but i didn't want to twist the hair on this wig because i'm not trying to make it look <laughs> scanty even the slightest because i like my wigs looking very very full but i think later on i'll probably twist some hairs there it's something that is not hard you can just search on youtube on how, how to clean out your parts by pulling some hair out with a tweezer but this is how the wig looks right now yeah look at how it looked before look at how look at how it looks now like <laughs> you can see the difference styling your wig is very very important it's wanting to purchase a wig and it's another thing to style it styling is really king so do not forget if you got value out of this video make sure you subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends and give this video a thumbs up thank you so much